Hi, welcome back. I am back with another interesting story and my today's topic is 15 unknown facts about Lord Hanuman. There are various version of the story and various dialogues, but the birth of Hanuman was enabled by a curse on a celestial angle. Apsara, a boon from Lord Shiva and the god of wind, Vayu. The son of Kesari and Anjana, Hanuman is known as Pavnaputra, son of wind. The deed was fulfilled by Vayu, but the course of nature had set for Shiva to be a loyal companion to Rama during his rule. Thus, Hanuman was born. Hanuman was not Lord's birth name. The name was coined to describe the disfigurement of Lord's jaw after he was stuck by Indra's thunderbolt. As a child named Maruti, the Lord mistook son to be a ripe fruit in his hunger and went with all his vigor to grab it. This angered Indra who stuck the child with lighting bolt. This left the child with an injured cheek and jaw. Hanuman is derived from the word Hanumat of Sanskrit. Hanumat is joining of a word and a suffix. Hanu or Hanu means jaw and mat becomes the suffix. So, Hanuman means one who has swollen or disfigured jaw. Lord Hanuman had five brothers, sons of which Hanuman was the eldest. The names of Lord Hanuman's sibling in order of their birth are Mataman, Sritiman, Ketuman and Dhriman. In the Mahabharata period, Pandu and Kunti son Bhima have also been called as brother of Hanumanji, the color red orange of Lord's idol. Once Lord Hanuman observed Sita adorning vermilion on her forehead and asked why is this part of her daily rituals. For which Sita explained that Sindur, vermilion, is a representative of Sri Ram's long life, her love and respect for her husband. The adherent devotion towards Sri Ram propelled Lord Hanuman to cover his body completely with Sindur. Impressed with the deed of Hanuman, Lord Rama granted a boon that those who will worship Hanuman with Sindur in future would see all their difficulties go away. And this is why temples represent Lord Hanuman's idol in vermilion color. The Brahmachari Lord had a son Makadvaja. Lord Hanuman was a Brahmachari, celibate, and yet he fathered a son named Makadvaja. It is said that after burning Lanka, with his fire-lit tail he dipped his tail in the sea to cool off. Then the sweat from his body was ingested by a fish and Makadvaja was conceived. Lord Hanuman first heard the preachings, the preachings of Bhagavad, Bhagavad Gita. Gita. As the Lord was harboring on top of Arjuna's chariot in form of the flag, it is believed that he was among the only four who first hand heard Bhagavad Gita preached by Lord Krishna. The other three being Arjuna, Sanjay and Barbaric. Lord Hanuman's scripture of Ramayana. It is said that Lord Hanuman too documented his version of Ramayana on walls of the cave he resided in. And his version of the story was much more splendid and glorious than that of Valmiki's. As Lord Hanuman scripted it just to relive the events and remember his Sri Ram, he discarded his version to aid Valmiki's poem of Ramayana. Panchamukhi Hanuman It is said that Lord Hanuman took form of Panchamukhi, the five-headed, to kill the demon king of Patala, Netherworld, who had kidnapped Rama and Lakshmana. On the mission of rescuing them, Hanuman learned that to kill a Hirvana you need to extinguish five candles, in which the demon king's soul reside, at the same time. So. Lord Hanuman morphed in five heads. Times in center was Hanuman. Times in south Narsimha, a lion's visage. Times in west Ahirvana, an eagle's head, Garuda. Times in north Varha, head of a boar. Times facing the sky was the Hayagriva, head of a horse. Lord Hanuman has 108 names in Sanskrit. Lord Hanuman is immortal. In Hindu texts, there is mention of eight Chiranjivis, immortal beings, and Lord Hanuman is one of them. 
it is said that he will walk this earth chanting Shri Ram's name and stories until the end of Kali Yuga. There are some notable religious reformers who believe to have seen Lord Hanuman in their lifetime, including Mandvacharya, 13th century CE, Tulsidas, 16th century, Samarth Ramdas, 17th century, Raghavendra Swami, 17th century, and Swami Ramdas, 20th century. Lord Hanuman is viewed as a protector. Lord Hanuman was blessed by Goddess Kali to be at Har Har Dwarapal or gatekeeper as a protector and guard. And Lord Shani blessed Lord Hanuman with a boon that any who worships Lord Hanuman would see end of their troubles. And these two reasons stem the belief of invoking Lord Hanuman would help fight against any sorcery. Lord Hanuman the Scholar Lord Hanuman is revered for his strength and power, but it's very few who know that Lord Hanuman was an erudite scholar. He received his education from the Lord Surya, Sun God. He was well versed in all the Hindu texts including Vedas, Tantra and so on. Tantrics believe Lord Hanuman was mighty accomplished in this field as the Lord had had supremacy in eight occult powers, those being Time Zanima, the power to reduce one's size. Times Mahima, aptitude to increase one's size. Times Laghima, the prowess to become weightless. Times Garima, ability to increase weight. Times Prapti, the gift to travel anywhere and obtain anything. Times Parkamaya, Mastery over willpower. Times Vastiva, mastery over all creatures. Times Isitva, godliness of being able to create and destroy. The Surya Namaskara, salutation to the sun, was devised by Hanuman. It is hardly unbelievable with the agility and strength Lord Hanuman poses to acknowledge the fact that the Lord was a yogi. He was the inventor of Surya Namaskar. Sun salutation, which was a way of greeting his teacher, Surya Devta. And the Lord was the first to teach pranayam to the mankind. Lord Hanuman, a master singer. In the Narada Purana, Lord Hanuman is described as a master vocalist. It was a boon given to him by Narad Muni. Do press the subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell icon next to subscribe button. Once you press the bell icon you can always get notifications whenever I come back with interesting story. I hope you enjoyed and liked the video. Do press the like button.